You do DB drills how many times per week? Come on, that's ridiculous. Today we're talking about how many times per week you should be doing DB drills on DB tip clips. Chad Wilson here, owner of All Eyes DB Camp, where I train DBs from ages 13 all the way up to the professionals. Some of your favorite DBs train with me. So today we're going to talk about how many times per week should you do DB drills and what should occur in those sessions. This is going to be a good one. All right. All right. It's going to be a good one. I think you guys will get some really good information out of this. But before I offer that information up to you, I need you guys to do something first. Go ahead and hit subscribe. You need to subscribe to my channel and hit that bell so you don't miss out on the next great DB information video that I'm going to be bringing your way. Don't want to miss out on that. So hit the bell so that you're notified. All right. Also, if you're trying to take your game to the elite level, I mean, you're trying to reach your full potential total lockdown defensive back. I mean, you're at the camp just totally locking everybody up. You're in your college program, just totally taking someone's position or you're an NFL guy and it's your contract year and you need those. Go ahead and join the All Eyes DB Camp members area. I'm going to have a link in the description down below. Definitely going to want to do that. All right. I've got over 150 videos in there right now going over all kinds of stuff like technique, drills, technique breakdown, coverages, everything that you need to be elite. I've got it in there for you covering all kinds of topics. Press man, playing off, catch technique, coverages, where you need to be, where everyone else is going to be. And I break it down in a simple way for you so that you can understand. I'm not going to blow your head off like maybe some of your coaches might do that. All right. They've got a coach to a whole bunch of people. I'm going to slow it down a little bit for you and get everything set up. All right. So link to that is going to be in the description. Go ahead and hit that sign up. Best investment you will ever make. All right. So let's jump into the topic. How many times per week should you be doing DB drills? I know everyone's going to be looking for a def definitive answer on that. You want a certain number. Is it three? Is it four? Is it twice? Is it once? Is it every other week? I know, but there's some other things we've got to talk about before we get there. All right. So let's just break this down. Number one, number one, you've got to plan your drill sessions. Okay. And your drill sessions are going to consist of three major things. Number one, these are your core drills. Two is your drills for your weaknesses. And number three, these are the drills that are your strength. All right. So what are we talking about in each one of these? Your core drills. Your core drills are going to be the things that you need to do the most when you're out on the field. All right. I'm going to have a video coming out next month talking about the five most essential drills or, you know, the most essential drills that a defensive back needs to do. But Despite me putting that out, there are going to be some things that differ from team to team depending on your scheme. You might be a heavy press scheme. You might be a heavy off scheme. You might be a quarters team. You might be a cover two team. So things will get tweaked here or there. All right. Your core drills are going to relate to what kind of defense it is that you run. The, the movements that you're going to be making the most when you're out on that field are going to be your core drills because you don't really want to be thinking about making those moves when you're making them. Your body should be moving automatically, all right? Kind of on autopilot when you're out on that field playing your team's defense. You don't want to be thinking about those things. You got to be thinking about what the receiver's doing, what the quarterback's doing, what the formation is, and all the other things. If you've got to add to that how to execute this particular move while you're out on the field, that's just going to slow you down, all right? You've got to, I just want you to think of a backpack on your back and it's got stuff in it, all right? In it is what's the alignment, what's the down and distance, what's the quarterback doing, what's the receiver doing, what are the splits, all right? All those things are in your backpack. If you've got to add to that how to execute this drill and think about it, that's one more thing in your backpack. And if that backpack gets too heavy, man, you're just going to be slow out there in the field. So you've got to determine what your core drills are. Chad's not going to determine that. You are. Take a look at yourself on film. Think about your defense and think about the thing, the movements you're going to make the most when you're out on the field. Those are going to be your core drills. All right. The second thing you've got to figure out are your weakness drills. Everybody has a weakness. You know the things that you're not very good at. Is it your red zone defense? Is it turning and running? 
Um, is it is it coming out of your breaks? Whatever the case may be, it might coincide with some of your core drills, but you know you might want to find another drill outside of the core drills that works on that weakness. You're going to spend a good amount of time working on that weakness, especially if you're in the off season right now and you're trying to fix some of the things that you saw on film that you weren't happy with last year. You're going to find, develop and put together a nice set of drills that are gonna work on your weaknesses. They're gonna fix some of the things that you're weaknesses. And that's one of the big things um, that I talk about in my All Eyes DB Camp members area. You're gonna go in there and you're gonna, you know what your weaknesses are. So when you go in there, you're gonna find certain drills in there that work on some of these things that you're just not very good at. You don't want next season to come around and you're still weak at these things. You were weak at them and you know, 2021, you're going to be weak at them again in 2022. Is that what you want to do? You want to be the same guy? No, you're going to fix those things by having this drill time where you work on your weaknesses. Okay. So if you need to go study yourself on film, because you're not sure what those things are, then go ahead and do that. You've been doing one-on-ones. You've been going to camps and certain things you've been getting beat on over and over. All right, you need some drills to fix that, but you might need to analyze yourself first to understand why you are losing on that. Again, I hate to plug it, but um, some guys get beat on certain things and they don't understand why. That's um, part of what I do in the All Eyes DB Camp members area. I I can explain to you certain reasons why certain things are happening to you over and over out on the field, but uh, ultimately it's gonna be you analyzing yourself figuring out what your weaknesses are, and then having a set of drills that you are going to do that are going to help you with that weakness. Third thing you're gonna set up and plan and determine are your strengths, all right? You know what you're strong at. Um, A lot of times it's just something you're naturally good at. Maybe it's from another sport. Maybe you're really good at this from, you know, playing another position on the field, et cetera, et cetera. You're naturally good at this, or you've had a tremendous amount of practice at it, and you're really, really good. This is gonna make up the smallest amount of time in your drill time, okay? It's already a strength. You don't want it to totally go away, because if you don't practice it, you don't spend any time doing it, then it yeah, strength might end up becoming a weakness. The old adage of, you know, if you don't use it, you'll lose it. That comes into play here. So you don't want to totally ignore it because it is a strength. You do want to spend some time on it, but out of the three areas, this is going to take up the smallest amount of time of your drill time. So determine what your strengths are, know the drills, determine the drills that you're going to need to do to continue to hone that strength because Yes, you want to work on your weaknesses. You want to fix them for next year, but you want your strengths to be your strengths. Okay. You want to continue to have those strong parts of your game that you can rely on. Gives you a certain amount of confidence too. You know, when all other things aren't working, let me just go to this. So for example, let's say you're really good at playing off, but you happen to be playing press. It's a weakness. It's not really working for you. Or you're going up against a guy that's just really, you know, your press games off that night. You know that playing off is your strength you can back off and and play off that night, all right? You're just gonna play this guy off. Well, you wanna make sure that that's still a strength when next year comes around, and that's gonna be because you continue to work on that part of your game in the off season so that your strength didn't turn into a weakness. All right, so I've got core drills, I've got weakness drills, and I've got strength drills. How do I break all of this down? I I want you to use this formula. The amount of time that you're gonna use, you're gonna break it down like this. 35% of that time you're going to use on those core drills. 45% of that time you're going to use on working on your weakness. And then the remaining 20% of the time, all right, you guys, you're doing math there. Hopefully you're doing well. 35 plus 45 plus 20 is 100% of whatever your time is that you're going to use. And we'll talk about that time there in a minute. 20% of that time is you're going to use working on your strengths. Because as I said, remember, that's going to make up the smallest amount of your drill and training sessions is working on your strengths, all right? So core drills, 35%, your weakness drills, 45%, and then your strength drills, 20%. So let's talk about how many times per week you're gonna be training. All right, as I said, people are gonna want a definitive answer here. What is the right amount of times per week to be working out. You know, there's probably some people arguing about this that want some validation. Is it two times? Is it three times? Is it four times? Is it every day? I hate to break it down. I'm not gonna solve anyone's arguments. No one's gonna win an argument here. So if there were any bets placed on what I was gonna say here, sorry to disappoint you guys. We're not gonna do that. It really does depend. Certain people have certain amounts of time. 
And in everything that you're doing in your off season or even in your in season when you have practice, there's only a certain amount of time that you have in a day. So some guys are going to do drill work five times a week. Others will have available time four times a week. Could be three, could be two. Here's what I'm gonna do for you. Whatever that amount of time is, however many times per week you can get to that drill work, I'm gonna talk to you about what that drill time should look like, how long you should spend there, because hey, the human body has some limits, all right? So let's get into that right now. All right, so here's my recommendation to you. If you are a guy that's gonna work out, do your DB drills twice per week, all right? Which is um, typically what I recommend, but again, my time is not like everyone else's time. Everyone's time is different, okay? Everyone has different circumstances. But it's twice a week. Those sessions should last roughly about an hour and a half, you know, between a warm up and everything else. That's how the time is going to really, really break down. So if we're using our formula of 35, 45, 20, it should look a little something like this. That core drill time is gonna be about 15 to 20 minutes, all right? Your weakness drill time is gonna be about 25 minutes or so. 25 to 30 minutes you're gonna spend working on the on those weaknesses. So what are you gonna do in that drill time? Your core drills, all right? Uh, let me just run this back really quick. Your core drills should be about five or six drills, five or six movements that you absolutely need to be able to master and do on autopilot. So if you're gonna go twice a week, you're probably gonna be able to get all of those drills in in that 20 to 25 minute roughly period. You're gonna be able to do all of those. You may even be able to do them twice. If that's the case, that's the case. Fill the time up. The more times you can do it, the better to a point. We're not trying to get ourselves injured here and cause some kind of permanent damage or a catastrophe out there. But that's gonna be five or six drills that you absolutely need to be able to do in that 20 to 25 minute period. All right, so your weakness drills. Um, that's gonna be about, so, well, to be honest, if we're, it's gonna be about 35 minutes or so. Maybe a little bit more, but 35 minutes and you're gonna take about a good three drills or so. All right, could be more three or four drills that work on your weakness that are gonna help you improve in those certain areas and you're gonna really get them down. Remember, you're only going twice a week on this, so you're really gonna nail those things down and get to the point of stamping it out from not being a weakness, just improve on it, okay? Are you gonna totally master it? Who knows, all right? We don't know what the limitations are. You're just gonna be better at it next season than you were last season. You're gonna be better at it at the end of the season than you were at the beginning of the season. You just want incremental improvements there. So 35, 40 minutes, four drills or so that are gonna help you with that weakness. So, you know, there's some certain things that you know you really, really need to improve in. And let's say you've found about seven or eight drills that you can do. Since you're doing this twice a week, you do four of those drills at the beginning um at that first session maybe the other four in that second session so on and so forth probably not that many drills okay probably not going to be eight drills so if it's four to six drills try and split that up evenly between the two sessions so if there's something you really really weak at you're going to hit that in both of those sessions in the week and then you're going to kind of rotate through the other four drills three or four drills between the two sessions i hope you guys get what i'm saying all right two of those drills are going to be done both sessions and then three or four of them, you will rotate between them and just kind of, the more you master a drill, maybe the less you can do it as you go along in your off season program or in season program, however this is breaking down. So let's now talk about your strength. Uh, as I said, smallest part of it, you're gonna pick maybe two drills, one or two drills that are strength. You're gonna work those for the final 15, 20 minutes. Maybe you can sneak a third one in there. Again, it is a strength. So you should be able to move through it pretty, pretty good. But that's how it's going to break down for you. It's an hour and a half. Yes, I know when you add all that up, it's not going to be entirely an hour and a half. I am thinking about a, a warm up in there and, you know, some breaks. It's an hour and a half. If you're like we are down here in South Florida, you're going to have some breaks in there. You're going to need some H2O or someone's going to fall the hell out and probably miss their season or a whole lot more than that. All right. But that's just really how that should break down for you. All right, if you're going three times a week, maybe it's a Monday, Wednesday, Friday kind of thing because that's 
how you're, you're able to schedule your drill work around the other workouts and things that you got to do. Maybe you've got a part-time job, whatever the case may be. Um, this is how it's working out for you. So you're getting three workouts in there. Then um, your sessions should be about an hour long. They should be an hour long there and remembering how we're breaking this down. It's 35, 45, and 20, 35, 45, 20. Remember that. Okay, write that down. Let's make a song out of it. But anyway, 35, 45, 20. This is what the time breakdown should look like in terms of minutes, roughly. All right, so your core drills, that's gonna be about 15 to 20 minutes. You know, um, if you're really good in those core drills, you might be able to get through all five of them right then and there. Or maybe you slide one out of there, so, you know, four minute, four, four drills um, you get done and you really try to perfect them in that 15 to 20 minute period. Then you're gonna move on to your weakness drills. That's gonna be 25 minutes um, of your time in there. You're working on those weaknesses. That's three drills, let's say. You really wanna nail them down. You wanna get a lot of reps in at them. So the more reps you take, the better off you're gonna be. And you're gonna just, you know, you have three sessions. So you're gonna break those things up. So if you're gonna break those things up over three sessions. Let's say you've got six drills for your weaknesses. Um, you're gonna do two of those drills. Let's make sure we get them in each one of those three sessions. And then, you know, you rotate the others through the rest of the three sessions. And that will just kind of coincide with how you go along mastering them as you go along. But the things you're weakest at, try to make sure you get them into each one of those three sessions throughout the week. Repetition, repetition, repetition. You're gonna work those more. And then finally, your strength, 10 to 15 minutes there. You're probably picking one or two drills and you're really nailing them down because you really want that thing to be a strength for you. Um, when you get back out on that field, this is your strong thing and you don't wanna maybe blow through a whole bunch of drills. Just Let's just make sure that that strong thing is that strong thing, all right? So 15, 10, 15 minutes you're gonna spend on, on your strength drills. All right, um, if you're going four times a week, then your sessions need to be about 45 minutes. Um, with the risk of sounding redundant here, it's 35%, 45%, 20%. You break those things down. Now you're doing less drills in those periods of time, but you are getting more sessions in. So you're just gonna have to do the math on that. Hate to, hate to bring math into this, but hey, football's math, all right? Life is math. So you might as well jump on top of that, but use that same formula, 35, 45, 20 and you again are getting more sessions in so you break that don't try to do everything don't try to do your whole workout all of your drills in that 45 minute period okay um, and you really don't want to go longer than 45 minutes if you're going to be doing this four times a week sliding over to five times a week now we're talking about just 30 minutes out there and the reason you would be doing five times a week is because you don't have periods of time where you can put in a long hour or uh, hour and a half out of your day to do the drills. You just have this small amount of time, but you do have that small amount of time each and every day. Like I said, maybe you got a part-time job, you've got summer school, you've got some other obligation and you just get this small amount of time each and every day. Hold it down to 30 minutes, okay? Hold it down to 30 minutes. You don't wanna be going an hour, hour and a half each and every day because the long-term effects on that are um, you could start getting some soft tissue injuries, groin, hamstring, Achilles tendonitis. You don't want that, all right? That is seriously gonna hamper you as a DB. You can get plantar fasciitis. Um, if you don't know what that is, look that one up. Google's a great thing, but all the planting and driving and planting and driving. Remember, now you're gonna be doing DB drills every day during the season as well. So if you spent the whole off season, just working that, working that, working that, doing those same drills, working those same muscles, those same joints, and then you go into the season doing it, you're probably gonna start running into some soft tissue injuries that are gonna hamper you, and then, man, you're gonna feel really bad if you put in all that work in the off season and then you weren't able to have the kind of season you wanted to in season because of injuries. Human body, as I said, has limitations. If you're going six times a week, all right, you know, Monday through Saturday, no longer than 30 minutes and you know it may be 20 minutes and you're just doing a handful of drills maybe you do some core drills for 10 minutes and then you work on your weakness for for 10 minutes or so and then once or twice out of those six you do some strength drills all right that's how you're gonna break that whole thing down if you're trying to do them seven days a week hey you're tripping b you can't do that even god rested all right you're not God, are you? All right, you gotta have a day off. You gotta have a recovery day. Don't go out there and do drills every day, even if it's uh, 
10, 15 minutes, chill out. At least give yourself one day off out of the week. You guys, you need some recovery. I know you think more is more. Sometimes less is more. A lot of times less is more. So don't be out there seven days a week. That's where I draw the line. Let's not be out there every single day. And if you insist on being out there every single day, then you know what? You're just doing one or two drills and that 10, 15 minutes. If you're out there every day for 30 minutes, 45 minutes, an hour, you're soon to be injured. And this is gonna end up being a really, really sad story. Listen to Uncle Chad on this one, all right? All right, so I hope you guys understand how that whole thing breaks down. Just remember that formula, 35, 45, 20, when you're trying to break things down. And as with anything else, when you have a plan, you execute a whole lot better. If you're just out there running and just doing drills, you and the homeboys doing drills, man, you're not gonna get the most out of it. Sit down, actually put something on paper. And I know sometimes for you guys that are in high school and you're going to class and everything, a pen and paper is the most terrible thing you could ever hear. Hey, man, listen, I'm in the off season. I am not even trying to do anything that remotely looks like classwork. Hey, come on, you got a plan, okay? Plan, 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 leads to execution. Okay, so get, sit down, write these things out, get them in your head. Once you've committed them to memory and you're on autopilot, you don't gotta write them down anymore. But that first time, write it down. How many times a week am I gonna be able to go? What are my strengths? What are my weaknesses? What are the core drills? And then apply that formula. 35%, 45% of my time, 20% of my time. And I'm telling you, this thing's gonna go off great. And you're gonna be a playmaking machine in the off season. Follow that formula. That's how this thing goes. So the answer to the question, how many times per week should I be doing DB drills is there is no answer. Really boils down to the amount of time that you have. What's more important is how much time you spend out there based on how many times you go. And if you're trying to do this seven times a week, hey, that's the one thing, that's the one definite number you're gonna get here. Let's not be doing it seven times per week. Give yourself a day off for recovery. That's it. Based on the amount of times I've gotten this question, I know this video helped you. Since it did, go ahead and like the video, share the video, and you know what? I'm looking for all of your comments down in there. What is your favorite DB drill? How many times a week do you do your DB drills? And did this video help you? All right, do that for me. Comment, like, share, and then, and then, which you should have done already, is subscribe. You should have subscribed to this channel. Why aren't, haven't you subscribed to this channel already? Go ahead and hit the button, I'll wait. Boom. You know what else you need to do? You need to hit the bell. I'll wait again. Bang. You hit that bell. You're all set up now. You're on your way to, well, nope. You're, nope. You're not quite on your way to being elite. If you really, really want to be elite, go ahead and join me in that All Eyes DB Camp members area. Again, link is going to be in the description. Over 150 videos and a ton of posts on all kinds of things. Drills, coverages, analyzing coverages, analyzing technique, um, all the good stuff that you need. Everything that you need to be elite. Be couldn't not be elite if you win. It's the best investment you'll ever make. All right, that's it for me, guys. As always, All Eyes DB Camp. Consistency breeds results.